Hey, what's up everybody? This is Marin. Welcome back to Intermediate Realm on iOS video course. In this part of the series, you're going to learn how to work with more than one Realm files in your exam app. Let's have a look. By the end of this video, the project will look like this. As we discussed in the previous video, your app works with different kinds of objects. And so on one side, you will have the data that the user creates when using your app. And those will be the exams, for example, or the results that they're storing uh, in, inside the app. So these are suitable for a read-write file that you want to create maybe the first time your app runs. And on the other side, we will have, for example, a list of possible topics to choose from when uh, adding new pending exams. And so this data will never change. Uh, this data comes pre-bundled with your app uh, and is never updated, or rarely via an app update. So this is a good candidate for basically having a read-only realm file uh, in our project. And so that's why we would like to separate the data that your app uses into two distinct files. One you will open read-only straight from the app's bundle, and the other one you will open read-write from your documents folder. So we're going to have one config, which is going to be called main config, which is the one that you're going to use to open the main.realm file where you store exams. And you're going to have another config, static config, which you are going to use to open a read-only mode, a pre-bundled realm file called static.realm um, that is found in your app's bundle. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you just need another case in realm config enumeration in your exams project, and you'll be off to the races. Now, in a real-life production app, you're most likely to use more than one Realm files. There are many benefits to it. You can open one as a read-only, another one as a read-write, a third one might be synced through Realm's mobile platform. And so it's a key skill to develop if you're serious about developing a production app with Realm. Now, first of all, the, the key thing to learn about different configurations is that as soon as you have more than one configuration, you need to specify which objects you want to be storing, be persisting in each of these configurations. Of course, you don't want to persist all types of objects that you have defined in all of your realm files. And so in our main config so far, we've been only writing exam objects because we have only an exam object defined. But in this video, we're going to add more objects and we're going to be splitting them between more files. And so open realm config.swift, find main config and add an extra option in that configuration called object types and add exam in there. OK, so that tells realm when we're reading or writing to the main configuration, to the main.realm file, only persist exam objects in there. OK. And now we can actually define a new object and then we're going to store it into a different file and I'm going to be reading from a different file using that other object. Now let me go ahead and create a subject name. Now this object is not going to be very complex. Actually, it's going to have just one string property called name and a convenience in it to initialize that name automatically. Let me add that code now. OK, that's everything we want from that new object. Since it's going to help us to just read a list of existing subjects that are stored in a realm file in our app. Now let's go ahead and add that second configuration that will give us access to that second realm file we're going to be working with. Now switch to realm config. And let's go ahead and add the same key components that we already added for our main config. First of all, let's add a private configuration. First of all, the URL points to the main bundle app and it points to a file called static.realm. If we Unfold assets, then we will see that file there already pre-bundled with the app, static.realm. It contains uh, subject name objects with the names that the university or the school decided to pre-bundle with that app. Now, next, we are going to be 
opening the file in the read-only mode, so we won't be adding new subjects in there. And then we're going to add also an object types property as well to specify that in that file we are interested only in subject name objects. Notice that object types is an array. In these two particular cases, we have just one object in each of the files, but of course, you can provide a list of objects in there. Uh, you can uh, save a multitude of different uh, objects per a realm file. And so we have one config here and a second one called static config, which is a read only access to a realm file. Now we need to add also the case here in the enumeration. Now, since static is a reserved keyword in Swift, you need to put that static in no case in backticks. And so the only thing remaining is to actually add a case here in our configuration a public property. Okay, and in case that you're accessing the static in them case, you're gonna be given back the static config. All right, we're gonna move on to subjects view controller Swift, and we're gonna use that new static property in there. So we're gonna be working directly with that pre-bundled static realm file in there in a read-only mode, because we anyways cannot change that file since it's located in the apps bundle. In subjects view controller, Let's add a, a private property called subjects that will hold the results in which we're going to reread the subject names. Okay, just like we did in the uh, beginning realm video course. And now in viewed load, we're going to use that new configuration, the static configuration, to open the realm file called static.realm and read out all the subject names that are bundled in there. Okay, and now let's read all the subject name objects and sort them by their name so the list looks a little nicer. Now I prefer to you know break lines that include a lot of method calls, chain method calls basically like this. You don't have to do that. You can write it all in the same line if you wish so. And so this is the code to open the static realm file and read all the subject in there. And that's in subjects view controller. Now, one thing we need to do is, you know, all this uh, data source, table data source methods already included in here. Uh, you just need to basically remove the comments and it, everything's gonna be working out. There's also a did select row at included that just pops out the uh, navigation controller. Okay, and so this is everything we needed. This is all code that you've covered in beginning realm. The new thing in here, again, is just using a separate configuration that offers you read-only access to that static.realm file bundled in the apps bundle. Well, let's run the project one more time. If we click on the plus, we're gonna see the list of all the subject names that are included in static.realm. And we can click one uh, and nothing really happens. We just navigate back to the main view controller. And we're going to be working on this area in, in later videos. That's it for this video tutorial. And now we have a challenge waiting for you. Your challenge for this video is to add the code that allows the user to add new exams to their exam list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.